guys, Necromancer. Um, just recording this quick tutorial. Um, it's for people that don't know how to make um, Panak or Panache files, however the fuck that thing is pronounced. But um, but um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that here real quick. Um, first off, you're gonna want to have the CRC code of the game that you're making the the um, the Panak file for. So to get the CRC code, what you can do, what you do, is you launch an ISO. So let's let's go ahead and just use this ISO, I guess. What you want to do is you want to launch your ISO. Yes. And you want to make sure you have the console window open here, because this is where it's going to give you your CRC code. So I'm going to wait until my game finishes initiating, so that I can scroll up, scroll up the list. And they won't do that while the game is still initiating. Okay, I'm going to pull the console window over here onto the screen, guys. So as you can see, it has it's, it's showing all the all the code that goes into the game running on the on PC6 too. So to get to the CRC code, you want to scroll up the list of code that you see here. And then, okay, that's I don't think that's it. Um Nope, I don't think that's it. Okay. Um oh, here we go. So, to get the CRC code, you want to go to this code here where it says System CNF detected PS2 disk, also so on and so on and so on. You'll see right here it says CRC equals this code right here. So depending on if you're using, depending on your translation patch or if you're using any translation at all, this code will probably be different for you. Um, but since I'm using Sora 6645's English patch, um, it doesn't change any values in the game, so the CRC code is not different. But if you're using, say, for example, Crazy Cat's um, English patch, this code will be different for you than it is for me, than it than it shows for me. So what you want to do is you want to ho copy just the code. Don't copy the zero x, just the code. So choose copy, and then paste it into the CRC bo window box here. Select that, and then what you want to do is you want to have some code. So some codes that you want to convert to PNAC file in this list here. So I'm just going to convert these for this example. So you'll want to have these in this window here. And then you'll probably want to name these. So I'm going to just name this KH3 Sora Base. I'm doing this with one hand, by the way, guys. So it's going to take me a little bit to type. Um... This one is whoops, weapon mod. Okay, and then this one is. You guys want to make sure that you name your codes when you're creating a Panak file, so that you know what code is what when you go to open up your Panak file to add, to to turn off and turn on Panak file Panak file codes. So this one is. Music disabled. All right. So now that you've got that, what you want to do when you're creating a brand new Panac file is you want to go to the game title window here, and you could enter in basically anything. I'm just going to enter KH2 FN codes into this, and then hit convert. And then, as you can see, it converts it to a Panak, Panak file format type of um, code. And and then all you do is just hit save, or wherever it saves it to. It saves it to apparently my doc, my um, my actual users folder apparently. So I don't want it to save there. So I'm gonna open that, and then I'm gonna choose a different. Oh wait, no, that's not what I want. I'm going to browse and then choose a different directory. 
So, uh, oh, actually, it saves it to my documents folder. Okay. I'll save it to my desktop. Why not? Then once you save it, once you make, once you choose your directory, go ahead and hit save. And then it it, 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 do, it doesn't look like it did anything, but when you navigate to the directory that you saved it to, you'll see right here. You'll see, here, here it is. Uh, let me turn this off of um, auto arrange real quick, guys. Hang on. Um, you'll see right here that it created the PNAC file. Then all you do is you just go to the folder where you have PCSX2 stored on your computer. Then go to the cheats folder. Not the cheats WS, but just the cheats folder. And then just drag and drop it into the cheats folder. I already have one in there though, so I don't want to override that. But that's how you make PNAC files, guys. It's that, it's that easy and that simple. So I hope this helped some of you guys out for some of you who were wanting to know how to do this and didn't really know how that stuff works um if you guys enjoy my content you can feel free to subscribe um it's not mandated it's not required or it's not and it's not mandatory but i would really appreciate it since my channel was taken down my original channel so if you guys do subscribe i'd be really grateful and um also um and also, yeah, um, I hope this helps you guys. I hope this was useful. Um, if you guys, again, once again, if you guys have any questions, you can post it in the comments and I'll answer it to the best I can. And yeah, this is Necromouse, guys. I'm out. Yeah. Yeah.